Hi, Gino Pettis Adventures. Glad to have you back. I'm Gino. Uh, if this is your first time, hit the like, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, you get more of these videos. And uh, today we're going to be talking about, oh, about 15 things that you might forget before your trip or to your trip, with your trip, on your trip to Columbia that are very important. So if I were you, I'd just pause the video right now and grab a pen and paper, maybe even save the video so you can come back to it, because I've got 15 things that are pretty important. And so I'm going to start out with, number one, you need to plan, 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 okay? Uh, you need to make sure you don't leave any stone unturned. Number one that most people seem to try to forget is their vaccination card. You can't get into Columbia these days without a vaccination card. Uh, that's no big thing. You just you, you have to have the original or a copy of it, and, and you'll need to just carry it with your passport, which is the second thing that you'll need, is you'll need your passport to get in the country. Um, <clears throat> as you're preparing to leave, and you get you, you need to spend some time and do some research on cheap tickets because there are there's a myriad of difference in prices on the internet. You can use Cheapo Air and Google Flights.com and the flights will vary anywhere from a $600 round trip ticket to a $1600 round trip ticket depending on the day of the week you go on, depending on the day of the month you go on. So do your research and don't just, you know, you see you get one ticket and, and say, oh, this will work. Well, search it some more. I mean, I've, I've done so well as to get a $188 round trip ticket from Bucaramanga, Colombia to Miami and back. That's right. $188. That's, un that's unheard of. And <clears throat> if you look on Spirit Air, they have those every Monday. And so... Take care while you're looking for tickets, and you can get some really, some really inexpensive ones. When you get ready, after you've got your ticket and you've got your airfare all paid for, and you've got your passport and you've got your vaccination cards, 48 hours before you leave to Colombia, you'll have to go on the Colombian immigration site, and there's a form called the MIG, the M-I-G immigration form, and that basically you fill in what flight you're arriving on. Uh, where you're arriving to, where you're coming from, your passport number, your age, your um, your sex, and uh, just just the basics about them. It, it helps them fill out your forms. It helps you get through customs when you arrive when you arrive in Colombia. <clears throat> I would also recommend. I know I hate to do this, but I I wouldn't fly into Bogota. Or Medellin, I'd fly into Bucaramanga unless you just have to. I mean, if you just have this thing for Bogota, okay. But I would fly into places like uh, Cartagena, Santa, Mi Santa Marta, Bucaramanga, and I'd leave Cali, Bogota, and Medellin for people that I don't know. I just I just don't like those places very well because the 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 crime's increasing. And they're scary places. They're like Chicago, L.A., and, and New York. But that's, that's my personal opinion, so you can take that however you like it. And leave me comments on that if you would. Uh, because I think coming to towns like Bucaramanga and the small towns around there, are just a much more pleasant experience than, uh, than the big cities. So... What you need to do, and most people, well, I don't know, most people, I forgot to do this. I forgot to go, I forgot to set up my travel plans with the bank. And so we flew from New Mexico to Florida the first time I came. And when I used my credit card in Florida, it canceled it because it wasn't on, wasn't on my travel plans. So, and you better have Columbia on your travel plans and you better have Panama on your travel plans. And you better have Florida. Anyway, as many states as you can think of that you might touch down in or countries, be sure and have your, your credit cards and your debit cards on a travel plan. And if I, had to, if I had to make a recommendation, I would have two banks, 
with two different sets of uh, debit cards. And a Charles Schwab account is a really good thing to have because they seem to work quite well. It's, you can get money from ATMs here in, uh, in Colombia, and it's not the best rate, exchange rate on the planet, but it's far from the worst either. But what I would do is, is my next question, I mean, my next thing is I would, don't forget, bring cash, okay? Credit cards don't work very well here, unless you're in the big cities and the big hotels and places like that. But out in the country and buying fuel and buying food on the side of the road and whatever, you're, nobody's taking credit cards to speak of. A few of them will. So be sure and bring, uh, be sure and bring cash. And when you get through customs and everything at the airport, there'll be a, a kiosk there somewhere that you can buy Colombian pesos, the COPs. And you can check the exchange rate out. You're never going to get the exchange rate that's quoted on the internet because everybody's got to nick you for a little bit to make their profit. But so don't keep all your cash in one place. Um, be careful. Watch. Don't exchange a ton of money. You know, a couple of hundred bucks, 300, two, three, 400 bucks. I would do that at the max and and just be careful when you're doing that too look around you got to pay attention when you're in when you're in Colombia you have to pay attention uh, of what's going on around you so let's see what else we got here we're down to about number seven eight number eight is bring your own meds don't forget to bring your meds you can get most medicines that you need in the United States here almost over the counter or they'll have a doctor in the pharmacy that'll write you a script right on the spot if you have your old script and uh, they'll, they'll fill it for you right there. And I mean, and then it is a lot. It, it is inexpensive. I mean, I had an inhaler in the United States that if you had to buy it over the counter was $380. And you can buy it here over the counter for six bucks. I mean, well, that's a, that's, that's a topic. That's a topic for a whole nother video. So, okay, so we, okay, so we've got your Vax cards, your passport, your, your MIG, your travel. Be sure to travel light. Don't, you know, don't bring the, the, the whole, the whole closet. Cheap tickets. Be sure and call your bank, set up your travel, set up your cash, get your cash, take your meds. And what I would do is I would join, uh, an expatriate Facebook group in the city that you're gonna, that you're gonna land in and, uh, just get to know the people and get to ask them questions about what you do, what you would do locally, how to make your vacation better. Um, <clears throat> and number 10 is be careful. Number 11 is avoid huge cities. Uh, number 12 is you can, there, there are people like myself that, that are more than happy to help you plan your trip. Find, find places to stay for you. Um, it's a service that I do. And if you look down, down in the description, you'll see how you can contact me and, uh, and I'll be more than glad to help you. Um, how to get your best visa, how to renew your visa, and, and, and most of all, enjoy. But when you come here on a tourist visa, you're going to have you're going to have a 90 day visa. If you want to stay that long, it's great. But what you're going to need to do about 30 days before it expires is get some help. Well, you can you can actually renew it online yourself. That's difficult because uh, you have to have a printer and you have to print out print the thing out. So there there are services around that for a small fee will 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 fix your. Uh, extend your visa for you. And even if it runs out, it's not that big a deal. So what you can also do is you can leave the country after 90 days. You can fly over to Panama, spend a day or two, and and come back and get another 90-day visa. So you pretty much have a six-month six month plan. But I also know uh, services that'll help you get a more permanent visa if you're married to a, a Colombian, if you're gonna get married to a Colombian, if you got a Colombian girlfriend, um, if you want to retire here after you've been here a few months and figure out that this is where you want to retire, uh, there are services that'll help you walk through all of that stuff. And it's, it's pretty inexpensive. It usually costs two, 300 bucks to get a, um, uh, 
a more permanent, more permanent visa. And so with that being said, if you got any further questions uh, or comments, be sure to leave them below. And also my contact information is below. If you liked this video and enjoyed it and was helpful, hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell, and uh, as always, this is the first day of the rest of your life. So, see you on the flip side. God bless. Bye-bye.